Hello, this is Death Rider, and Happy Halloween! Um, this is the Titanium Droopy Halloween Special, third annual Halloween Special. The last two Halloweens I did Skyrim months, uh, horror months, and even though they don't get much attention, literally the one from last year has 11 views, I don't care. I like Skyrim, and I've never really gotten into horror games, and this is kind of the closest I've ever gotten to that. So I figured, uh, let's just jump right in. I am only doing one mod, at least in this setting. It's two in the morning. I've been trying to get this thing to work for like an hour. It just wasn't. The cave that I need to go into wasn't there. Now it is, so I can actually do this thing. Here's the cave. And um, again, I know nothing about this, so. We're gonna have some nice natural reactions since I know nothing of this. I've discovered some ruins in East March that lead under the Velothi Mountains. They look to be recently uncovered by a landslide. Whatever lies inside has likely been undisturbed for a very long time. And the Velothi, Velothi Mountain Tunnels. The doorway to the ruin appears unstable and seems like going through will cause it to collapse. Ah, point of no return kind of thing kind of deal. Alright. Let's do it. As a dragon flies over. Whoa. You're okay, Lydia cannot accompany me. Huh. Standard invisible wall. Okay. Now typically the way I do these games is stealthy and I literally just reinstalled Skyrim today to do this. <laughs> so I normally have like another 100 mods installed. I have like three. So I assume, should I just assume that you're a bad guy? <sighs> okay, you didn't activate. Like I said, I know nothing of this. So, yeah. Who are you? What are you? Do I do anything about you? You know what? Let's not go stealthy. Let's let's just sprint into everything. Let's do it. Also, this looks a little funny just sticking out like that. I normally don't do face kit. It's a horror mod. Stuff like that happens all the time in horror mods. So, I'm in for it. I've never played a horror game. Never. The closest I've come to horror games is if you look at my... I have a Halloween special playlist. Halloween uh, video playlist that you can look at. So you can find the other... Uh, yes, I know how to... God, I know how to lockpick. Also, that was bad. <laughs> I broke a lockpick on an adept block. What do we have? I normally don't take this stuff, but... I will be I will be thorough because I don't know wow holy crap although maybe I should take everything um, just because I don't know if there'll be any like recipes or you need to have anything plus I can hold a thousand pounds I think we're fine on weight uh, ooh. ruin book and a knife okay what have we here that was a spinning thing. Hmm. Yeah, and I think third per first person would be the best mode to play this in uh, as well. So... I don't see anything. I don't see anything down there. Okay, well, I don't know how exploratory I want to be. Trials part two. Oh, oh, two comes after one. Where's one? You know what? Let's just start from the beginning and see if I can find this. Oh, I missed that. There we go. Yeah, I got my maid blade. I'm hoping this candle will expire soon. It looks like it will. Anyway, let's look at this. I got sick of waiting for you. I've gone ahead to scout the tunnels. Oh, that's from Isidore. 
I'll put up some torches to light the way. Pick up your feet and follow them to find me. I mean it. Hurry up. I want to see your fingers. I want to see your fingers stained from finding the snow with the ink still wet. Something in this place makes my hair stand on end. It's as if the shadows are moving. Camilla, I will take that. I should not have taken that. I don't know. I don't think it matters. All right, I'm gonna try not to use that just because you know the whole thing is being ominous and dark and scary. Duemma ruins. I thought this was just an old imperial place, but no, that must that must have come later. There's more. There's more than that here. This might be it. This could change everything for us. Just be careful. There is something else down here. Something not right about here. Always disappears before I can get a good look. I can't leave though. Not now. I'm taking a note. I guess I'm taking a note. I guess I'll just keep doing that. Okay. So, this is a Duemma ruin, but there's something more happening here. Can't have it. Suffer water damage, only the final entry is legible. By the divines, I'm glad to be heading away from Clockwork Castle and away from those metal men. It's not just me, I can see it in the faces of the whole caravan. Someone, everyone's scared of them. A special dead end trip once a month through these crumbling, gloomy, gloomy tunnels and back again for just one customer. It spooks the horses and it spooks the men. Claude Jovec doesn't pay enough for this. Come to that, his old his old man didn't spend enough didn't spend enough clearing and shoring up the tunnels in the first place. You would think that all the people he could afford that of all people he could afford it. I guess you don't become a traitor baron by way of being overly free with your money. It's like 2.30 in the morning, so. My rating of skills are not what they really should be. <laughs> I'm not recording this entire mod um, in one sitting. I'll do the rest tomorrow morning. So I should be able to read like a competent person. So many side passages, blank doorways yawning at us as we pass. No one knows what's down there. All we can do is stick to the main road and listen to the clatter of carts echoing down those darkened corridors as we pass them by. Come come the morning, we'll have to get the carts up those those damnable stairs, I swear. Those boards are going to slip one of these days. Ooh. But then we'll be outside and back in the world again. And the snow. I suppose in here we're not out of the weather, at least. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, I don't know if I should be taking these. I also don't know how much I want to explore here since You know, I want to explore but you know, I want to get through the mod. I want to Stay on the path. Am I going too far off the path? I might miss some jump scares or just some cutscenes or something What is Well, I know what this I know what this is no, he didn't drop as soon as I thought he would. Hello. Wow. You take a lot of hits. Where's my flingy? There's my flingy. Oh, yeah. I have a lot. Let's do a sprint attack. I wanted to do a sprint attack. Well, now you're dead. Great. Why did I want to do that? No. Got two arrows out of it. Got two hours back. Anyway. It's a horror mod. So, you can't help but wonder when something's gonna happen. Okay, and I haven't seen that woman again. Not yet. Anyway. I am not gonna get that chest just because I don't really care. I hope there's nothing in there that I need. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go this way. With reckless abandon, I'm not even slowing down. We're just good. Okay. Oh, you're missing your lower jaw. Okay. Oh, hello. 
An expert strong box. You know how many expert strong boxes in Skyrim actually have something? I will let you know. I've been playing this game since it came out in 2011. I'll let you know when I find one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but I kind of like pump it. Ah, there we go. What do we have? At nothing? Yeah, basically. Well, I actually got something. Oh, you're dipping your hand in fire there. Ah, for some gold. Okay, well, this is the first thing that's actually kind of creepy. I probably shouldn't be playing this at 2.30 in the morning when I'm going to be going to bed right after. I'm literally going to be going to bed right after I record this one episode. I don't know how long these episodes will be. Oh. Is that just a depth of depth of field? This isn't Skyrim Special Edition, so there is no depth of field. I didn't want to drop all the way down yet. Ew, ew. I don't want to walk in that. Judging by the color, ugh. This is just Skyrim, but still. <sighs> that... 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 Yeah, of course you're not there. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you, I've never really gotten scared by anything. I've, of course, gotten jumped by stuff like walking around a corner and I run into someone but like I've never played a scary game so there, some of the reactions in this are gonna be new to me uh, another strong box unlocked and yeah, nothing don't do that I'm a little scared right now. Okay. I'm not one to waste time though. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit. I don't appreciate this. Like, you're untouchable. Just waiting for something to happen. What? 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 Do I have something on my face? Why? What? What are you doing looking at me? Okay. I don't like this. No, he, he sees me. Can I shoot you? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Is it the skull? It's, yeah, it's a skull. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go, okay? Just, um... Forget I was here. Is that not a door? The thing is, the thing I do know about scary games is it, it, once you let your guard down, like, that's what a lot of really good scary games will do. They'll let you let your guard down. Nothing will happen. And then once you've let your guard down, then bang, you know, they, they scare you. I'm not about that. I'm not letting my guard down. Why is there so many broken swords in here? I saw the lockpicks, but... Okay, that's not a thing. Something's gonna happen to me, I know it. Oh, it's still looking at my um, X position. Yeah, it's still following my X position. That's a little weird. But like, I've seen people that I could tell that their reactions were forced 
I guarantee you, I... I know nothing. Oh, big open room. I, I hate big open rooms. Especially when they... are in a scary thing. I'm gonna hug this side here. Okay. I don't see anything. I'm thinking I'll keep these episodes at roughly 30 minutes. So I'll probably, I don't know how much is going to be cut out. I'll record 40 minutes and see what how, how that goes. That's a dead guy. Yep. You have a note. Oh, is this going to be that um, Camilla's? Camilla? Yeah, it's Camilla. Whoa! Why do you have a <gasps> torch? Yes. Definitely take those. I have 800 arrows. I'm not worried about arrows. What was that sound? I needed you and you weren't there. Weren't there might be a better word. I thought those were your footsteps, but they weren't. Always coming up behind me, but nothing there. Time stood still and she came towards me. Slowly, slowly. I couldn't move. I can't leave anymore. Can't face it. Can't go back out into the world. I'll just sit here and I'll just stay here with the bones until it's over. Sorry, is easy door. I was waiting for something to happen. Usually it's like after you read a note, something happens. I've watched horror games. Like I've watched Markiplier play horror games. Like almost all the horror games he's played. So I know the tropes. I've never had to deal with them personally. Oh, why? Why do you do this? Why do you have to do this? I actually made myself jump because I didn't expect him to say that that loud. There's no door on this. Okay. I can't move. I can't move my camera. Your sliding is... Oh, well, that's my insides. Is something gonna happen? <laughs> Friendly skeletons! <laughs> I, I knew there was something behind me. I knew there was... Ouch. Dang. I... Hmm. That's not right. I can't knock you down. Why is your head backwards? Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, okay. And now there's a door. Ouch. Can I not go through there? Is there anything over there? All right. It looks like I have to go back. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. You know, when I was in high school, kids always said, hey, I can put my fist in my mouth. Well, look where they are now. Okay. Ooh, how low can you go? How low can you go? Ah, oh, not low enough. Okay, this is... This is like, ah, uh, what was that? I don't know that that old horror movie. I think it's like an 80s horror movie where, like, chairs get stacked. Wow, you got some long arms. Okay, so I can knock all of them down. I'm not going to. Wow. Nice, uh, take skull. No, thank you. I don't need skull. Where's skull? Where's skull? You can take your skull back. I don't need it. We're having a little, um... 
friendly circle. Uh oh. There will there is combat. I can't move. That's why I play third person with combat. Oh. Alright. For the sake of this, I'll go first person. Okay, I was tripping over bones. So do you have anything special? No, nothing special. Where'd the other one go? You're hiding from me. You're supposed to make this scary, and hiding from me is not scary. Oh, no, you're waking up. All right. Yeah, I'm not even gonna search them. Jeez, keep tripping. The scariest thing about these skeletons is that I feel like I'm gonna break something by tripping over them. You Blair witching it in the corner? Wow, that's a messed up skull. Oh, no, okay. Well, am I gonna be surprised by any more friendly skeletons? I think you guys are baddies. And it's just a restless skeleton. Okay. Well, I said I'd record to 40 minutes, so another 10 minutes. Mm. I'm gonna humor the game and not try to skip anything. Oh, you came out of the water. Skeletal terror is dead. I took your sword. How do you swap? There you go. You can um, take the sword back. Looks like this is where I'm headed, although there is nothing there. So I am, oh, what the heck are you? You're floating. Aw, you knocked down the nice little... What are they called? Dream catchers. There we go. Just gotta get that to 50 and then... Things will be better. Ooh, Glass Lake. Interesting name. Okay, so far, not bad. Nothing really truly scary yet. Um... Yet. I'm starting to hear the Dwemer machinations. Okay, let's just drop down. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay, that could have hurt. Is this ice? I'm floating right now. All right, well. Well, actually, no, it's Glass Lake. Okay. That's cool. Are you just gonna follow me? Eerily floating. What's going on with the lighting? Are you under me right now? And okay. Uh, you're scary. Where is she? Is she right here? I bet she's right here. Yep, there she is. I mean, it's definitely eerie, but the fact that she's just kind of T posing is not that scary. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Where are you? I can hear your arthritis. Okay, there you are. Stop it. No soul 
gem large enough. Is she, I swear, is she like right? Yeah, she is. Oh, you're running. There we go. A lot of... Okay, so there is actually quite a bit of combat. You know what? This wouldn't be Skyrim without a little bit of this. Except you are immune to the memes. There's someone behind me. Can I, like... You can't paralyze a skeleton. Oh, well, alright. When you do that backswing, that has a 25% chance to paralyze. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I hate these tutorials. Goodbye. I could charge it, but nah. I don't really care that much. Am I supposed to jump down here? Oh, those hands are rolling. I assume I'm supposed to jump down here. Where does this go? Absolutely nowhere. Really? Okay. Is something sc ah, scary gonna happen? Sorry, I'm making this seem a lot less scary by doing stuff like that. I mean, that's definitely very creepy. And the sound effect that you put up on it. Could she go through? Oh, she just goes right through the wall. All right, then. She goes right through walls. Got the skulls on the spikes. That's where they belong. That is where they belong. All right, well, I'm just gonna... Ugh. Okay, that hurts, apparently. I don't really know what that does. I My health bar didn't pop up, so it clearly didn't do damage. I guess that guy's embarrassed about his face. Oh. Seriously, watching her float at me is actually scary. Just her head hanging? Oh god, that actually... I don't want to think about it. That actually... It's, it's unnerving. It's un unnerving. And she kind of just... Is she going faster? You know, honestly, I really don't care about you guys. I'm more... Con I think she's getting to my... Y level. Yeah, she's not even moving towards me. She's just getting to my Y level and then is gonna come at me. I actually kind of want to see... Nah, it's, it's not entertaining for you guys. I'll just continue on. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted Cyclone. So is she supposed to be following me throughout all this? Or... Was I supposed to do something to get her off of me? Yeah, well, she's still coming. The more I hear that, the more it sounds like an airplane passing overhead. Well, that stopped her, I think. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think she's still coming after me. There's an arrow there. 
what what do I do? Well, I'm blocked in here, so. <clears throat> Castle grounds. Okay, I think that it's it's 3 a.m. I think that'll be it for this episode. That's my controller vibrating. Explore the valley. It's so rumbly. Yeah. Is my way blocked? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> all right, yeah, so I did originally plan on doing this all in one Really? Is that supposed to... <sighs> That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I... Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, hi, bunny. Who and or what are you? Hello. Uh, hello? That is a robot. Can I put, uh, can I put, whoa, this clockwork? Gilded recovery time. Glass garden regrowth. I don't know what that's all about. Um, do I have subtitles? Ah, crap. Usually I have them on. Does he have subtitles? Okay. He didn't like me going in the water, I guess. How about this? I'll just get inside here, and then I'll end the episode. I'm liking this mod. This is fun. I haven't... <clears throat> like, even the horror mods I played, they weren't... Well, one of them was scripted. I played Ninth Gate and Into the Depths, I think it was called. And Ninth Gate... I don't remember it being that scripted. Not like this is, where it's literally like a hand-holding... Okay, actually there is one thing I know about this, and this is something I learned from the quest page, or quest page, the mod page. This is a player home. So that is why, um, that is actually probably what this is. Like gilded recovery time and glass garden regrowth time that might have something to do with some, Thing that you get something that you like something that you can grow in this player home Ooh. it's the clock on the quest page I, there, there's a little trailer video I actually didn't even watch the Ilya Repin a shy peasant there's a trailer for this quest, or er, God, for this mod. I'm so used to Zelda and questing, Zelda and quests. There's a trailer for this mod that I didn't even watch. I, well, I, I like skimmed through it and it just showed that scene of that clock. James Tisson. Types of beauty, type of beauty. MB, MWB. Okay, yeah, um, I am going to uh, save here and end this, um, end this episode here. 
Um, I'm looking forward to this. It hasn't really been that scary yet. It's just been a little bit unnerving, like with that woman. So, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this. And if you are, let me know your let, tell me your thoughts down into the script in, in the description in the comments below. I haven't actually recorded any videos in a while. I've been making a Zelda classic quest, so I, I, I haven't even like got my dialogue back, I guess. The typical YouTube banter. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that garbage. So, oh. Okay, I am gonna end this one here. So yeah, like I said, um, you can state your thoughts down in the comments. And I'm trying to end an episode. That'll do it. Yes. So, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Let me know what you think about the face cam. I definitely think having face cam for something like this would be would be really good. Uh, I never really understood the whole hype about face cam with YouTube videos, but during, like, I'm saying outside of the horror because people like seeing people fly back and lose lose their crap because they get so scared. So I understand that aspect, but otherwise I've never really understood it. And I've also never really cared to do face cam, but I mean, I've got a nice setup here with how I have my phone clipped to my school desk and I think it's working fine. So um, I do plan on going further into this mod. I don't know if it, it's supposed to be like six hours of gameplay. I don't know if I'm gonna do the full six hours, um, but maybe I will and I will cut out a lot of stuff that isn't necessary. At least doesn't seem like it would be horror related since this is for the Halloween, our Halloween special. I'm trying to do something that's Halloween or horror, horror you know. I do have another Skyrim mod. This isn't the only one. Um, forgot what it's called, but I will be doing it. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.